They're children. They're pure. Now, in this moment, you have this window of time when they are pure. And imagine if we as a society loved them first in that moment, if we just took a snapshot and we just snatched them up and we just loved them right there. Hmm. We just can't shower enough praise on our colleagues and the folks here at CARE 11 who made this happen. Lindsay Sievert and Ben Garvin are, uh, of course, the reason the film was created. It's all about Lucy Laney Elementary that's in North Minneapolis. And this documentary, more than a year ago, in more than a year in the making, sold out all of its screenings at the Minneapolis Film Festival. We also want to welcome Craig, who is here from the Minneapolis Film Festival. Craig Rice, Thank nice you. to have Thanks you here. Me. I appreciate it. Wow. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. What, I mean, you know what? I had a chance to see it a few weeks ago. Thank you so much. And, for uh, you know what? It's one of those things that's absolutely so powerful. And it started with these stories that were so powerful by the two of you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have seen these stories, but the fact that you spent all this time and put this together and people are coming out of the woodwork wanting mm -hmm. to see it. And I mean, congratulations on Thank everything. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you, you find something that moves you and you're just not sure if it's gonna move other people, to what, you know, how it stirs your heart. So it is gratifying to see that people are moved just as we were. And this started again, Ben and I had witnessed this amazing principal and this really remarkable school on the corner of 33rd and Penn in North Minneapolis. And we thought it deserved more than just your average news story. And we made it into a series and then it evolved to a documentary. Mm -hmm. And you know, we, we realized in the process like that we have this power to really shine a light. Like uh, CARE 11 has an audience and let's use that in the best, most, best way possible. And so CARE 11 gave us the time over a series of more than a year, uh, you know, to work and really invest and build something that we didn't originally, we didn't know it originally it was gonna be this beautiful, I think it's a beautiful film, but it, mm, it, it came together at the end in a way that, that is, uh, it's, it's rewarding and it's, and it's great for Mari and her staff who are doing extraordinary things. And as you went into the story, I'm sure that you didn't know the depths of all the things no. that you were going to find. And there are so many stories within the school with every student. Mm -hmm. And then of course you have the story of Mari. So let's take a little, uh, little Wonderful. listen here. Sometimes we all have to fight the battle of that horrible thing that lurks behind hope. Disappointment, anger, frustration, sadness. We all have to deal with it. But it does get better. That's what hope's there for. You just gotta hope. Hmm. How many showings were there at the the first film festival? Because you're going to be in many others, I, I imagine. How many were there? I think we started with two to yeah. three, and yeah. they kept selling out and selling out. And then yeah. Craig helped us yeah. secure some more. We just kept, it, it, the film has probably been the biggest selling uh, film we've ever had in the history of this film festival, which is actually 38 years. 38 oh, yeah. years. And so we, we just kept adding festival, uh, adding dates to the festival for their film. And then we have following this starting Sunday, we have films all the way up through today. And Sunday we start what's called Best of Fest, which goes on till the end of the week, um, up to the 25th. And so they have another screening during that period of time. And then we're going to bring it back again, hopefully May uh, 17th to the 23rd at 7.15 wow. uh, for another set of screenings for this film. I, I've, because I've been programming for eight years with the film festival, which we had over 170 features and a hundred short films this has been sort of the, a phenomenal film for us and it's probably probably because it's a film for our time and so people have been requesting and talking about it and wanting to see it and I really commend these two which I've been saying this the whole time that they did a phenomenal job and they've created a documentary that is actually going to radiate not just here in the Twin Cities but into the rest of the country that is so true yeah. uh, you know what and if you want to find out more about this all the information is on love them first but again we're going to add a whole nother week of showings that people yeah. uh, right after the show and mm -hmm. you can actually go ahead in the proceeds will go to to Lucy Laney so half of the ticket sales May 17th through the 23rd mm -hmm. uh, 7 p.m. showing some 15 every night they'll go to the school and so how, how can you yeah. everybody wins yeah. right everybody I mean wins. Yeah. buy it's a ticket just, yeah. that's everybody so great wins. and how many films were there in the film festival it was a, this year? a total 200 270 and then we had 170 feature films from all over the world um, and then uh, another 100 short films from all over the world and that mm. included animations documentaries fiction films so yeah we it was a phenomenal process to to gather all those because we went through over almost 2,000 films uh, to narrow it down to the 270 that we got so yeah, yeah. well congratulations yeah. on what 30 yeah. did you say 38 it's 38 years this year 
Wow, there. Craig, that's yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> and the fact that uh, your film uh, had a chance to get there this year, we want to thank everybody, uh, of course, that was a part of it here at Tegna, Janine and John and Jane Helmke, who said yes. And yes. of course, the two of you for all of the hours and hours of putting it together. I mean, it's just beautiful. Thanks. Thanks. And just to the school and the principal, too, who right. allowed yeah. us in. Yeah, and the, sharing all their stories, yeah. and their very yeah. personal stories. The, the principal uh, and, and said yes when she didn't have a, she didn't need to say yes, but she let us in. And the school district as well, they also said yes uh, to, to us and let us spend time there. They didn't have to say yes. So, mm -hmm. so many people have made this happen, and we've done everything we can to, to honor that and make it as good as we can. You know. And you did. Yeah. So yeah. it's Thank so wonderful, you. and it's going to be great, because I think at the in fall, we're going to air it here on CARE 11. That's what I understand. Yeah, that's, that's what I understand. Let's all just cross our fingers <laughs> we, we, on yes, that. I think that's the plan. And you were saying that a lot of other schools, if they want to see it, there's going to be opportunity for that potentially as well for teachers, right? Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. You can go to lovethemfirst.com and there's a screening page. You can request a screening. Mm -hmm. We're working through those now. We're, we're, we've got more than we can handle, you know, but, but that will happen eventually. We're working mm -hmm. towards ways to make this accessible. And that's a good problem to have, right? Yeah. A good problem. Yeah, to have. there's a groundswell from educators and I think they feel seen and heard. So we're excited to see where it goes. Oh, well, Thanks congratulations once you. again, Lindsay, Ben, and Craig. Thank congratulations you. to you, you as well, much. my goodness. All Thank right, you. the tickets, again, everything's available on lovethemfirst.com. And right after the show, it will be on care11.com. And we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Thank Thanks, guys. Thank you.